There we go. We got four different generations of Game Boys here. Got the original Game Boy. Nice uh, classic brick. Took four AA batteries, which was two less than the Game Gear, so they had Sega beat on that one. But this was in black and green. Not the best colors. Which is why I can guess when they did the uh, Virtual Boy, they didn't feel too ashamed to have uh, the game in black and red. Because this was pretty standard back then. Also, back in the day, you had to adjust your contrast manually with a little knob over here. That was uh, pretty normal back then. Nowadays, that feels kind of like I'm using a 1950s TV or something. It's pretty weird to think of nowadays. Once they realized that the uh, Game Boy was just a little bit too big for being a portable system to be convenient, they upgraded to the Game Boy Pocket, which is the smaller cousin of the Game Boy. They didn't add any new games to uh, the series. You could completely play any Game Boy game on the Game Boy Pocket, and they just kept on making Game Boy games. So the Game Boy Pocket wasn't like a, a new system per se, it was just the generation 2 of the Game Boy and you can see there's a pretty big difference in their size this one uh, actually broke I had battery acid leak on the inside of it and it would uh, not turn on at all so I called the Nintendo repair hotline it's got a picture of Mario on it how could you go wrong right but it's 1-800-255-3700 and uh, the authorized repair contact told me that it was pretty much screwed and I need to buy a new one. And that wasn't going to happen at the time. So I just kind of let it sit down and after being an electrician for a few years I came by and I picked this game back up and uh, I took it apart and I just cleaned out all that battery acid that was inside of it and then I put some uh, super glue and aluminum foil on the contacts and now it uh, actually works so apparently the repair center at Nintendo doesn't know how to fix anything so FYI if you want to call them they probably won't help you even if that <laughs> number is still connected I don't know it's been a few years since this was uh, 1998 to uh, or 1989 to 1996 yeah so it's a little bit outdated uh, then we got the Game Boy Color, which is the uh, new system. It actually is a new system because it had new games for it that would only play on the Game Boy Color. And these are backwards compatible to the original two, where you could play the Game Boy games on the Game Boy Color, which was very handy since they're the exact same sized cartridge, so they didn't really do anything fancy with that. They just wanted to make sure that you could play your Game Boy games on the Game Boy Color. And as the name implies, the newest feature of the Game Boy Color is the fact that the games actually had color. There's no longer a contrast button. You don't have to do any like voodoo magic to get anything to work in this system. It's pretty much just a freestanding on its own. I actually have two Game Boy Colors because these systems feature an IR port at the front and there aren't too many games that use that but nowadays if you actually wanted to use the IR port you aren't going to bump into somebody on the street who happens to have both a Game Boy Color and the game that you're playing so you pretty much just need to have two but you used to have to line up these two little ports with each other and then you'd get into the game and then function them together it was an interesting idea only a couple of games used it and finally the uh, Game Boy Advance the advanced model and this was a system of its own. Again, it was backwards compatible that you could play the previous generation games on it. And uh, it uh, kind of goes sideways, though. These games actually had really improved graphics on them. Significantly improved. And uh, I was definitely impressed with the graphical quality that some of these games had. And that they, I felt, rivaled, you know, like a PlayStation even in, in their quality. Which back then, you know, like that was pretty interesting, you know, like this was right when around like the GameCube was coming out 
and uh, the PS2. So the fact that they had a game that was on par with a previous console generation for the graphics, but it was portable, was really interesting. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there you go. Four different generations of Game Boys right there.